Hello, it's Sarah and Kiwi. Where are you going? Get off. Oh boy. Look what I'm doing. This is an ATC. These are a couple of ATCs that I'm working on. And they're kind of like primal, tribal, tribal I would say, designs that I've actually gotten from this mug. And I got this mug, it's, oh, it has a little dried up coffee inside. Laurel Birch. And I'm wondering if this is the same Laurel Birch, which I imagine it would be, that is now designing stamps. It says, distributed by Hendrickson Imports, Inc., California, made in China. But these designs are, and I've had, it's been in the dishwasher because there's gold um, marks on here. So I kind of just took some of these. It says Global Spirit, and there's some emblems, but it says Laurel Birch. And maybe I'm saying the wrong name, but I thought, I think she has stamp designs out right now. So I just finished these two that I did with watercolors. This one and this one. This one's dry. This one's probably not dry yet. These I did with Tim Holtz markers. I used watercolor markers. This is actually mixed media paper. I probably could have used... Um, watercolor paper, but I wanted to use something smooth because I used my Micron pens. These are um, Sakura Pigma Micron. I have the 05 and then 200. Oh, this is a 1 and this is an 01 to do the line work because the first thing I did was just use a pencil and go around and um, outline the design. I made the design with pencil, but I'm actually going to take the pencil lines off with just a regular pearl, pink pearl eraser. And then I'm going to go back in with my Pigma Micron pen and make the lines more defined. And I think I'm going to use um, my pen touch gold as well. But on some of them, it's not as fine a line as I'd like. Probably um, jelly roll pens would work better. But let's see. So it looks kind of a mess when you first erase it. And you're not going to get all your lines off. Um, but like if I wanted to make, I'm going to do... I'm making a video. I have this. This is kind of like a paint pen. I'm going to go around the eyes. Just don't push too hard and you'll be able to get a nice thin line. I'll go around a few lines. Um... Think. I can always go around this with um, black too. And I did this with watercolor and I am not, that's something I've not really taken um, a class and I should because there is definitely something to watercoloring and um, I don't know very much about it. All right, so I did that with the gold. Now I'm gonna take my Micron, and this is the littlest tip. And just this paper is kind of thick, and it's a little bit warpy because, like I said, I used watercolors. Whoops, I fell off. Oops. But see how when, once you put the black marks on there, it all comes to life. So let me outline the eyeball. I think I'm going to have to... I'm 
I used, um, this one says Campus, but it's still by um, Cotman or um, Windsor Newton. They're both just Windsor Newton sets that I got at Michael's with um, coupons. And there were a couple different colors. One's a 12 pack, so it had 12 different colors, and one was a 10 pack. But they had um, a few different colors. Just felt like doing something simple and kind of therapeutic, um, relaxing. This is this is calming. Oops, I didn't want to do that. I can probably go right over that black line, so where I went right on the gold, because um, that gold is more like a paint. I don't know what it is exactly. But it's not ink, um, and it, I can cover the black pen with it probably. What are you doing, Kiwi? But see how you can really define everything? I'm going to try not to, just don't push as hard. See, I push so hard that I like gouge the paper and then, um, if you just push gently, the pen will just glide across the paper. It won't be so hard. Oops. Yeah, that that's a thing about ink work. Oops, you can't really take back. There's no take backs if you go out of line, so it has to just be what it is. You can't you get what you get and you don't get upset. Because it'll look cool regardless, don't worry. Alright, Kiwi. But that really brings it to life, huh? Let me see, look. I didn't finish, but I'll show you. See if I can go right back over that. Yep. Um, let's go around the eye a little bit, too. Just on the inside of the gold line. I saw there's a convention in Las Vegas. Well, you know, but all, all that stuff that's been going on in Las Vegas, that has nothing to do with it. It's just coming up in February. It's called Hoot. No, that's not it. It's not called Hoot at all. Um, anyway. It's a decorative painting convention, and Laurel Birch, I think Stan Pendis is making her stamps, and Chris Thornton have a class that they're doing together. It's like a train, a three-dimensional train, and then I'm going to go down the middle like that, and then here, and here. And here and you could do like see on here there's definitely triangles a lot of triangles and different um, like these I love these shapes the suns and stuff that you could do so I could just do let's just do some triangles like I'll just do triangles to fill this space not very thought out really just kind of free form maybe we'll do some of these suns little tribal symbols or what would it, what would it be hieroglyphic type things Patty Tolly Parish does a lot of this with her stencils symbolic little lines and marks. Um, and then you could just do... So a little bit is entangling, right? And I'll just do a... I 
and then I could fill those or make little gold dots somewhere. But anyway, that's the idea. You can really see the gold lines, but this is the one that I wanted to work on. I think it's dry. Because I did this one before, but I, um, so you can see it. This is in uh, Tim Holtz markers and Tombow markers, so water-based markers that I just used um, a paintbrush and water to kind of dilute because I didn't want the color to be totally uh, opaque. I wanted it to be, but this I used, um, this one I used the watercolors again. And I'll tell you in a minute what the other thing was I wanted to share. It's super hot out today. So it's October 7th, I believe, today. And it is like 83 degrees out. The kids are on the slide, the water slide. It's the last day of the water slide. And we're going to pack it up. Because, um, yeah, the pool's been closed for a couple weeks. Because we weren't expecting 83 degrees or whatever it is. Oops. Kiwi. This can make a nice fine line if I don't push too hard. But I love the gold color. Sometimes I don't like the gold that the color that um, I don't really love the gold of the um, of the um, jelly roll. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I don't think it's on here. I have a gold one of these, the Signo Uniball. This one. I just don't love the color of it. It's just a different color. The ink. This one's a really nice gold. So let's see. Um, I'll do around the flower. And I'll outline it with black too. I love the color of this gold. This gold is so pretty. Yay! And maybe that's enough. I think that might be enough. And then, I mean, I can always add it. I think I'm going to make black marks. That's why I have this um, number one. It's a bit thicker permanent ink, but I'm going to make some marks on the gold, that thick gold line that's around it. She took a bath. Kiwi took a bath in her water bowl. She has a big water bowl. Oh, went right out that line. Terrible, terrible, sir. Anywho, and so she's preening. She's on my shoulder. She looks so pretty. So I am just in a zone right now. That's when you do line work, things like this, you have to focus. It's just hard for me to talk at the same time because I don't want to go out of the lines. So that's basically it. You get the idea. Um, so let me see. Maybe this isn't dry yet. And I try not to push too hard because, like I said, I'll just gouge the paper and 
go out of lines. These work pretty good on um, most surfaces, but for the most part on top of paper, not media. So like not for mixed media or writing on top of things. These are a fine, delicate tip for like disentangling and that type of work. It's hard to stop. I'm trying to stop because I want to show you something else. What are you doing, Kay? That was a weird noise. And when you add these dark lines, see look, there's half. Well, I didn't even finish this one because I do think I'm going to go... Should I go on the outside or the inside? I think I'll go on the outside of the gold line. Look at the how it's more defined with that black line. And then I think I am going to go on both sides of this line because I'm going to make some like little zentangle um, patterns like how about with the number one. This is much thicker. I'm going to do um how about I don't know actually I don't need to do it with a thicker I need to I'm going to do one, two, three, circle. So you can write on top of that gold pen with this ink, but it's not staying flat. So that looks cool. I think I'm going to do a diamond, like a triangle. Maybe I should do the, the same on top and bottom. So anywho, this is an artist trading card. It's two and a half by three and a half inches. And it's on mixed media paper, which is kind of like a stiff card stock. I just cut them out and started doodling on there with pencil. So it starts out like this, and then I just chose one of these designs. I think the other one that I want to do, I'm going to do the two-eyed one, which is right here. I really like this two-eyed one because, see it? I like the way it has a pattern on each side, so I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to leave, let's see. I'm going to make some triangles over there. I'm going to do another line here. And this is going to be where the face goes. And I'm going to do a long nose. The nose comes down to here. And has a round mouth and 
So over here is just their black triangles, and I really like that. Although they're way pointier than, I mean, um, longer. It's just the shape I had to work with. I'm just doing it as inspired by, and then that side has a pattern right here and a pattern back here and then up there is a pattern and there's two sets of eyes, see? So there's two sets of eyes So we have this one and this one and there's like a triangle here and a triangle there. And that's about it. Uh, up here there's totally a different pattern. <laughs> So you get it, and then I would just water, water color it first before I erase all the lines. So like on this one, where's the other one I did? Uh, I already did it. I erased all the lines on both of these already. So um, water color it first, let it dry, and then come back with either gold pens or um, black. I really love the whenever you add black to anything it's such a contrast so probably black and white. I could you could do this with your jelly your white um, oh, look on this one I went on the inside so I screwed it up already. I really tried not to screw this one up but I still did. See how this one I went on the outside? It kind of looks cool though. Um, so yeah, so that's what I did. So let's go back up. And I want to tell you one more thing. So I had, now this one I didn't do as much gold at all. I only did, and I splattered it, so, but I hardly had any gold on this one. This one I like because it had gold, gold, gold. And I could do more doodling. I could definitely do more doodling on that one. Then I was going to have a um, an ATC box for you guys to make, but I, didn't, I never finished it. I was trying to do one with some cut-aparts from a, um, a baseball sleeve, you know, a, and I still could, but I just, I wasn't thrilled with it because this is actually a copyrighted pattern that I I got and I can't use it because it's copyrighted. It's by Club Scrap. Okay, Club Scrap. They have a YouTube channel and they have a website. But I could not find this specific design because they have um, if you love the ATC expandable file you won't want to miss out on the 5 by 7 size um grab one in the GHM department so on their website they have different um, patterns for sale and uh, there's um, PDFs and there are videos but the video I saw that was had a similar um, technique for using like a wallet insert they don't give you the measurements and everything because I think they want you to buy the pattern and then they kind of just walk you through the, the how to put it together. So I'm sorry about that. Um, but that was my intention. I had planned on making an ATC holder to hold these kind of tribal ones, but I'm not even really loving the way they turned out. This is my favorite so far because I really took my time and... Um, but I will be back because oh, I ordered a book that hopefully we'll be getting here today. Also, I wanted to show you this. I got I went to AC no 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 Michaels. I used the coupon, but this I think these were on sale. Handmade ornaments. These are glass ornaments. 
they're tiny. They're two and a half. They're only two by two. Let's see if it says. But you get ten of them for $6.99, and I think they were on sale. Let's see if it has a measurement. I'm pretty sure they're two by two. I'm going to cover this with polymer clay and then bake it. I think I might just do um, the applique design on here. Maybe some Christmassy looking flowers. I don't know. Maybe I'll just do a Christmas design with stamping or something. I'm not sure. Um, but I thought, wow, that's how many? Ten ornaments for like four dollars or something. And it, they're small, so not a lot of polymer clay. And easy to work with. They'll fit in your toaster oven. So I got those. And then the book. I'll be back when the book comes because it's supposed to be delivered today. And I will share some other pro, um, designs, or I'm sorry, projects that I'm looking forward to doing. So this is the same thing, only I didn't put as much gold on this one. Thank you, Laurel Birch. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.